Feels like a good time for a midday snack. Let's go out here and see what we can find to eat in the backyard. Oh, I love corn on the cob. Corn on the cob is good stuff. What the? This must be that storied money tree that my dad always told me he didn't have in the backyard. Got a kid starting college. I hope the people at financial aid don't find out about this. You don't have a tree in your backyard that grows corn? Where do you get your corn? From the store? This simple method for cooking delicious corn on the cob does not involve boiling a pan of water. You just take your ear of corn right over here to the microwave. You can see it's not been shucked. The silks are still intact. That's one. And yeah, we're gonna do two ears, two average size ears of corn on the cob. This microwave is about 1100 watts. Now we're gonna go down here to the settings and we're gonna push four minutes and let it roll. In the meantime, I'm gonna get some stuff to top off and finish my ears of corn. While those beautiful ears are cooking perfectly, I'm going to put together some of my favorite toppings. Drop down in the comments and let me know what you like to put on your corn on the cob. All right, our corn on the cob has been cooked. It's about four minutes for these two ears. You'll want to adjust depending on the power output of your microwave. I wouldn't do more than three or four ears at one time. That's one beautiful ear of corn. And here's another beautiful ear of corn. Here we have two beautiful, perfectly cooked ears of corn on the cob. We just need to get those cleaned up. This method, by the way, also works just fine on the grill if you don't wanna put it in the microwave. These are still pretty hot, so you'll wanna use a dish towel or a kitchen towel to hold on to them. You're gonna take a sharp knife and about an inch from the base, you're going to cut that stem end off. This takes a little bit of practice the first couple times out, but you're going to squeeze it. You're going to squeeze your ear and just shuck it back like so while you're on the narrow end of the cob down here. Look at that. That is one beautiful ear of corn right there. Slide this over and show you once again on the other one. You want to find the bottom. This one's got a long stalk or a long stem on the end. So we're going to hold the thin end. We're going to go about half an inch or so from the bottom of the fat part and start squeezing on this end here, the narrow end that's tapered. You're going to just squeeze that along and the husk starts loosening up. It brings probably over 90% of those annoying little silks that get stuck in your teeth come right out. You may have one or two, just grab those off, but it's so much easier this way. Now, the toppings, hope you were thinking about it. One thing you can't go wrong, you always have to start with butter. So we're going to slather this ear up real good with some nice butter. And we'll go ahead and hit this other ear with some butter as well. And just let that just soak that heavenly goodness right down in there amongst those kernels. Now, what kind of toppings do you use in addition to or instead of butter on your corn on the cob? You can't go wrong with good old fashioned salt and pepper. But been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Here's a nifty little flavor bang for your buck. Tony Cashier's Original Creole Seasoning has everything in it that you could want, and you just sprinkle as much as you'd like on there. Oh, man, that's good. Holy cow. You know what? Boy, that really gives an outstanding flavor. Boy, oh boy. But, oh boy. Wow. Next time you want to take your corn on the cob to the next level, Frank's Red Hot Original. Boy, that's good. I put this shit on everything. If any of you have an addiction to corn, I hope this video hasn't been too much of a temptation for you, but I'm gonna finish this off 
while I start looking down in the comments. So you can tell me what you like to top your corn with. Be sure to subscribe, like the video, ring the notification bell. See you next time. Thanks for stopping in.